if I did not see it with my own two eyes, I probably wouldn't have believed it. Oh my word, what a T20 game, man. West Indies and South Africa, they definitely entertained the fans in that second T20 game of the series. Really, really sad how West Indies ended up with, uh, losing the game. But I tell you, I'm going to take you through it. I'm definitely going to take you through it. Um, Johnson Charles and Romara Shepard, especially those guys, they really, really deserved to win that game. Blessings, blessings, my viewers and subscribers. Welcome back, welcome back to another video. And as you can hear in this one, I am going to walk you through the scorecard uh, for that second T20 game there. It was a high scoring game, record um, record run chase. So, ah, boy, it rough. I watched the game from start to finish and I must say that I was really entertained, but the way in which we bowled, we were really in discipline. I am not going to knock the bowlers in the sense that um, South Africa were able to win the game, but the way in which they were able to win the game, of viewers and subscribers, we were in discipline with the ball. The field, the pitch, everything was right for the batsmen, so I can't to knock the, the, the run chase. The problem is the way in which we gave away the runs, man. Wide balls, short balls, it, it, was, it was just a mess. Anyway, let me, let, me, let me go through the good part of the thing. So we batted first and we scored 258 for five. You know, after winning the toss and inserting us to bat, South Africa's captain probably was scratching his head at the halfway mark. Johnson Charles, he was in another world. Left, right and centre, Johnson Charles hit the ball. He actually got past um, that record that Chris Gale had of the fastest um, century for West Indies in T20. So, 258 for 5. Johnson Charles getting 118 of 46 deliveries. 10 fours and 11 massive sixes. When I say Johnson Charles was on fire, he was on fire. Everywhere they bowled the ball, Johnson Charles was there. You understand? I mean, South Africa's bowling, it wasn't the best, but he had to work for some of it. You understand? The way in which he played some of those shots, I don't think West Indies bowlers forced South Africa to play to play some of those shots. I think we gave it gave some of some of the runs to them. So 118 of 46 deliveries, 10 fours and 11 sixes. And one of those games that, boy, if you're at the ground, you really enjoy it. You're sorry that your team lose the game, but you enjoy a game like that. Kyle Mayers, he wasn't too far from Johnson Charles either. I mean, he didn't get a 100 or anything, but he played some exquisite shots. The man was classical. He got 51 of 27. Nicholas Poran came. He wasn't able to do much. He got two. Uh, Brandon King, he was the one that opened with um, Kyle Mayers. He made one. Uh, Ravman Paul, the captain, continued his good vein of form. Wasn't able to make a lot of runs, but 28 from 19 under the circumstances, you know, was really, really good. And Romario Shepard, he came in, he faced 18 deliveries, and he smacked it to all parts. 41 of 18, he had four good sixes and one four. Odin Smith remained not out and 11 of five so 258 for five my viewers and subscribers it was good it was good out there you understand wayne parnell for south africa he took two wickets uh marco jensen got three for 52 so those were the two guys that got the wickets um the other p the other bowlers traveled shamsi he traveled two overs for 36 runs mangala four overs 67 runs rabada four overs 39 runs uh, Markham, he brought himself on bowled two overs and gave away 22 runs. So our batsmen, they did extremely well. You understand? So we were two for one. Then we went to 137 for two. Then 139 for three. 179 for four. 236 uh, for five. And we ended up at 258 for five. So the run rate was very good when Johnson Charles and Kyle Mears were there. When Johnson Charles um, 
even when Romaro Shepard and Ravman Paul were at the crease, they took it up a notch. You know, so I'm not going to say South Africa were, were thinking they were not going to win the game because halfway, well, even, even before the game started, some of the South Africans were saying in the interview that um, this is probably going to be a good, a good game in terms of the amount of runs that can be scored. And halfway through, they were saying, boy, this is probably going to be a record runs chase. So in going in, ser in, going in search of that 258 South Africa, they put on two, they, well, they made 259 for four with um, seven deliveries to spear. Oh, my word. They won the game by six wicket. Quinton Ducock, the man was, I tell him of you as our subscribers, he, he, he was just, he was just, he was just magical. He made 144 deliveries. So not as many runs as um, Kyle, as, as Johnson Charles, but the way in which he scored the runs, how quickly he scored the runs alongside Hendricks, that really set the thing up. 100 for, for, for the cock, uh, 44 Hendricks. 68 of 28 and then in the back end we had the captain Markram who got uh, 38 of 21 to take the team across the line so I think it was we when they made a hundred they were actually at 152 before we took the first wicket so 152 for one then 180 for two 193 for three 216 for four and they ended up at the 259 you know our bowlers they were thumped all over the place it was Raymond Reefer that came and he was trying to sprinkle a little bit of magical dust but his figures ended up crashing in his final overs in his final over you understand um so Sheldon Cottrell they had to hide him his first over I think went for 29 they <laughs> boy Quinton the cat treated him roughly Akil Hussein two overs 33 runs Sheldon Cottrell one over um, 29 runs. He didn't even bowl a second over. One over, 29 runs. It was Akilu saying that that bowl two for 33. So Shellan Cottrell one over 29. Jason Ola four overs 48. Romario Shepard um, 3.5 overs 44 runs. Uh, Odin Smith two overs 36 runs one wicket. Um, Jason Ola picked up a wicket also. Raymond Reefer four overs 42 runs. Ravman Powell two overs 27 runs. I tell you, it, 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 it was carnage out there, my viewers and subscribers. Um, as I said, it, 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 was a, it was a pitch. It was a, um, one of those wickets that runs can be scored on it. You understand? So uh, I will knock them in the sense that South Africa were able to get uh, the runs. It's just the way in which they got the runs that was a problem. You understand? The first fa the, we lost the game in the first, in, before even the power play. The first three overs, I think the man, they, they, they were already over 60 or something like that. They, 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 it was rough, my peeps. It was rough out there. So they started off well and they didn't look back. So I just wanted to give you a quick rundown of the scorecard. We will leave it right here for now until we are able to talk again. Hopefully, we will be able to go live for an hour and basically you know go through the entire thing big up on yourself my peeps